residents of Brookfield were shocked this afternoon by the first murder in the town's 193-year history. When we were shooting Conjuring 2, I remember during a break in photography, I would go up to Patrick and Vera and I said, guys, I think I know what Conjuring 3 should be. This is Ed Warren here with Lorraine. All right, let's get started. I think it should be more of a detective story. A trial of Arnie Cheyenne Johnson. Please rise. The first time in history, the council tried to claim... That demonic possession was used as, as an alibi. I invited this thing into me. And that's the reason that he's dead. One of the things that I would talk to James about is like one of our favorite movies is Seven. That was one of the reference points in the development of this story. That day, that was not Marnie. We're gonna help you every way that we can. The Warrens, they've helped police investigate different cases, help find missing people, and so I felt like this would be a natural direction to go into that is something a bit different. Take the Warrens out of a haunted house and onto this journey. Keep grounded in the lore and in the feel of Conjuring movies, but to make sure we were telling a brand new story. We bust out in Conjuring 3. This boy is headed to the death chamber. Is saving him worth everything you have? Because that's what it may very well cost. Dealing with the flagship of the series, you want it to be the biggest. You have all of the scares and the terror that you would expect from a Conjuring film, but it is set against this really incredible mystery. It's a mystery that is tied into what the Conjuring universe is all about. The court accepts the existence of God every time a witness swears to tell the truth. I think it's about time they accept the existence of the devil.